Hey everyone, it's Mark and Julie from RV Love. We're finally settled into a campground long enough to be able to put together <laughs> our footage from the RVIA trade show. Right, that was an industry show that we attended just a few weeks ago in Louisville, Kentucky. And it's where all of the manufacturers and the dealers and all RV industry get together and showcase everything that's new, innovative and exciting for the year ahead. And that includes the RVs, the technologies, everything that goes into RVs. It was an amazing few days and we're here to share it with you in this series of three videos. So stay tuned. We had a difficult time finding a vantage point to give you a clear shot of the scale of this because it was so massive, it's broken up into a lot of different areas. It's over a million square feet. We estimated close to a thousand RVs and that's all just the manufacturers with the just RVs. The RVs. <laughs> yeah, there's also a huge arena filled with vendors and, and two other areas filled with vendors. These are suppliers uh, to the manufacturers and to the aftermarket. Right, so we did our best in the three days that we were there to get a taste of everything and, and because there was so much to see and it was impossible to cover the whole thing, we focused our attention on the things that we felt were really different, that things were really worth sharing with you that we hadn't seen before. So let's jump right in now. This is a three-part series, as we said. So some of the brands that we covered in this video number one include Winnebago, quite a few from their lineup. Right, and we also included the Rev Group, which includes Monaco, Holiday Rambler, Fleetwood, American Coach, and also Renegade Super Seas. And most of the RVs we covered are motorized. Uh, in, in one of the other videos, we covered some towables, but the focus was really more on the class A's, B's, and C's, and the cool stuff that we're seeing there. So. So I'm going to check out the new Winnebago Horizon, which is a much more contemporary design coach. So let's go check it out. Okay. Wow. This is really different to anything we've been seeing in any other motorhomes. Very contemporary lines, neutral tones. This is really nice. We've got a televator over here that pops away, which really we really like because we don't watch TV. Just then, they're not using wood. We're seeing laminated surfaces, which are going to last and stay pretty consistent over time. So that's really nice. Real tall floors. I mean, this is fairly dark with dark floors and dark leather furniture, but the rest of this is really light. This is really nice and bright and light. I think this is going to be really popular. Little LED lighting under here. I mean, there's a lot of really nice aesthetics and I know it's easy for people to get caught up in that. We tend to look at things, yes, with aesthetics, but we tend to look at more practical aspects of an RV and what it's like to live in day to day. When we first started shopping RVing a few years ago, we didn't really know what was important. Now that we've been doing this for a few years full time, we have a much different eye and focus on what matters in an RV. And the practical things like storage is one of them. I like how they've even just made the seat very nicely styled. Definitely seeing more of a lean toward induction cooktops, particularly in the higher level motorhomes. I like that I can reach these cupboards. <laughs> Still wouldn't say there's a ton of storage. Actually, these drawers are pretty good. Easy close drawers. That's nice. So this is actually a much bigger kitchen than you first think when you walk in. You've of course got the cooktop and the sink here and some storage, but come back here and you've got your convection microwave oven, another big stainless steel top countertop, which, and have a look in here. We have a big storage drawer for appliances and a dishwasher. I would like to have a dishwasher because then I won't feel so guilty because Mark's always the one doing the dishes. Because this is super practical to just sit and use for lounging or to be able to pull out this desk for working. As working age RV is on the road, finding places to be able to work from inside our RV that doesn't mean taking over the dining area is really important. And I really like that this can 
serve as a workstation during the day when you're working, or at night if you work at night. You can also slide that away when you just want to sit and relax. This is really smart design that I'm really liking. Love this fireplace, that's really nice. Mm. Wow, this smells really different. I think Winnebago's, they're getting really bold with what they're doing, but I have to say, I like it. That is huge. Bathroom, yeah, very nice. Okay, so here's, here's just a little, little thing, right? So here's the toilet, and we all need to use this more than once a day. It just, this feels really, look how, I'm little, I'm under five feet tall, and my arm, like, there is no using the right arm in this toilet. I feel like this is a, all the action happens with the left hand. <laughs> 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 this just doesn't feel very practical use of toilet. I'm sure it does the job, but where, like, where's your toilet paper going? It's really important you're able to use the toilet. Nice big storage. If we were to have a coach like this, I like the idea that you can press a button. The TV doesn't have to be a main focal point in the room, which I like. Washer dryer. It's your closet. No bedside tables in the bed here. It's a king size bed, nowhere on the side. They've got a little storage nook for, this is for your, this is obviously a sleep number type bed. You've got some storage up here. Yeah. It's got a little bit of a nautical boat feel, marine feel about it actually. Here's something pretty cool with the dinette table. There's a little switch here and it can slide side to side. So you could either, you could easier access these cupboards or depending on if you want to have it moved out of the way to watch TV. I think that's pretty creative too. It locks in place of course. There's a lot of really great design features in this. Super comfy premium furnishings and the chassis is built on a substantial chassis that has a 15,000 pound tow capacity. Check out this basement storage. Holy cow! You could put like a queen size bed in that and have it like, if, this is for your guests. For your guests. <laughs> that's amazing storage. You can put your storage totes underneath. Yeah, that's very, very nice design. I like that. It's impressive. Big basement doors. They feel nice and solid. Nice. This is a grand tour. This is the top of the Winnebago line. Nice bathroom, nice big closet here, washer dryer inside the closet here are separate units. I think they should get a few more pillows. <laughs> yeah. Thirteen pillows. Saw this cord coming out of the seats and realized these are massaging seats. That sounds pretty nice. One of the more popular things we're starting to see is farmhouse sinks. This one is stainless steel. Dishwasher. And I think this is really nice. We have seen this before in other coaches, but this is actually the residential refrigerator and it's covered with the wooden cabinet, so it looks less like a refrigerator. It looks more like cabinetry. We are really liking the Winnebago styling, but they've got something weird going on with their toilets. <laughs> I mean, so here it's really close to the wall, but there's, this is a toilet roll holder. So there is honestly hardly any room for me to move my arms. And you know you need to move your arms when you're in the toilet. It's a good thing this coach has too, but you want to be able to use both of them. That's the main flaw I'm seeing with Winnebago's right now is somebody hasn't given much thought to the toilet situation. Like that, like that. Like, I'm, like, I can't even. <sighs> Winnebago's making some bold moves with styling and aesthetics. But speaking of bold, look at that. That is one red coach. <laughs> wow, 
interesting bathroom thing. They're trying to pack a lot of stuff into this small space. Oh, the sink has this turn around. Hmm. That's actually uh, nice. Huh? Yeah. It's making the most of the space, that's for sure. Squeezy little bedroom, but. 24 footer, yeah. Yeah. Small B plus. All right, let's have a look at the Winnebago Travato, a true class B coast, much smaller. It's a van. B's a van. Yeah. Very nice van. Yeah. Space efficient. Space efficient, yeah. This little sliding door panel. A little fridge. Oh, that is a little fridge. Yeah. A few little storage cubbies down here. Got to be a little bit more limber to use one of these small coaches. <laughs> small class B, you got to make the most of every inch. This is getting a lot of buzz right now. The Winnebago Rebel, the ability to get off-road, 4x4 Mercedes chassis. I like the accessibility here with all your plumbing. I like the ruggedness of the off-road tires and the ruggedness of the look. Nice integrated awning. One of the big features in this is in the back, I think. It has a huge space to put all your toys, off-road gear, backpacks, bikes, kayaks, whatever. And then this is the bed that lifts down to make this level so you have a nice big sleeping surface when it's time for bed. You can totally tell the industry is booming because there's a lot of new manufacturers. We heard there's over 30 new manufacturers at the show this year and a lot of existing manufacturers are dramatically expanding their lines. Yeah, it seems that everywhere we turn we are seeing more vans, more Class Bs like these ones and even new manufacturers like this one, Midwest Automotive Designs, luxury custom sprinter van. We're just seeing these pop up in, in a whole lot of product lines, a lot of brands that have never been known for smaller RVs or Class Bs before. They're all coming out with them too. They're coming out with them from, you know, Class E's in Integra and Class B's in the Rev Group with the American Coach. They're obviously catering to a market that is really looking to get much more smaller and nimble with their RVs to get away. I don't know what that is, but it looks fancy. <laughs> this is our new command center. You know, sit here in the seat and this is playing like Star Wars and stuff, you know. <laughs> this is inside a concept vehicle from Road Trek, a Class B. Pretty edgy looking. We're not quite sure what is about the concept that makes this so different, except for these big monitors here in the front area. I'm not quite sure what that's for, but, uh, and there's no one around to ask. Some people are concerned about driving RVs. This one looks like it's gonna drive itself. Well, that probably explains what those big screens were for. <laughs> yeah. really like these leisure travel vans that are a wide body so even though they're a B they're slightly wider and it really can tell when you're inside here it feels very roomy for not having slides Wow American coach has got a B look at this sprinter van I hadn't seen that before huh they got some bold fire engine red paint on their coach too. 
We're now over at Rev Groove, which includes Fleetwood, Monaco, American Coach, and Holiday Rambler. And they also recently purchased Renegade, which are primarily large super seas. But what's interesting is that these are traditionally all Class A motorhomes, and we're starting to see them building Class Bs and Class Cs as well. Definitely seeing a trend here. They're trying to reach a new segment of the market they had not seen before. The thing we've seen at this show is some movement away from a lot of browns and beiges and earthy colors. We're starting to see a lot more bold colors and a lot more edgy styling. This red coach over here by Rev Group, it's a signature by Monaco in pretty bright red. We've seen a few bright red rigs hit this week. And also this vacation over here, which has got a nice stripe of orange going through some more cooler grey tones. So it's just really interesting to see that they're starting to get a little bolder, a little brighter. You know, maybe because the industry is really booming now and they're not really having any trouble selling RVs, they feel like they're able to take some more risks. This coach too, you've got some really strong red accents. So yeah, definitely getting a lot bolder with colour, which we're happy about. The bookshelf that drops down to become an emergency exit from the bedroom. These are Renegade Super Seas. Serious power with these, and they have enormous tow capacity. So if you want a big toy up box or stacker trailer or something behind this, you're gonna tow big weight. This is really where you want to be because these have 30,000 pound towing capacity. But it's a 45 foot length. But the actual living space is a little shorter than you see on a Class A because part of the 10 feet of this coach is taken up with the front cab. But pretty cool. Let's check it out. Wow, look at <laughs> that is some serious fancy lighting. This does not feel like a truck inside. This feels like a pretty luxurious motorhome. And one thing that we're really liking in here is these really, really big windows, but also that the window balances are kind of hidden behind here and that's one thing that we don't like about a lot of RVs is the window treatment so this is much more discreet tucked in behind and uh, you've got the shades in there the MCD day night shades big windows this is a pretty cool machine and as you can see from like the dark wood and the black and I mean this is a very we in Australia we say this is a very blokey looking truck this is a blokey rig this is like badass kind of guys are going to love this, but a lot of women are going to love it too because it's really stylish. Yeah, how you doing? So cool. So remember this is a three-part series. This concludes our part one. Be sure to check back with us tomorrow. We're going to be releasing part two. So in part two, we'll be taking you through some Tiffin, Numa, and Integra motorhomes. We saw some pretty cool stuff. So check back in tomorrow for a part two of these three-part video series from the RBI Trade Show. Yeah? yeah? We have deer at our campsite. And one's peeing right now, if that's what you hear on the audio. <laughs> it's a peeing deer. Hi, deer. Hi, deer. Alrighty.